My name is Giovanni Giorgio, but my friends call me Giorgio. Maybe not. Anyways, the old coot here. Coming back at you with another exciting video. These are some Bruno Mark shoes, right? Awesome and amazing company. I've had other shoes from this company before. They last a while. They're comfortable. They're very easy to wear, especially long hours, especially if you're working like in an office environment or you're going out to like a wedding or something and you just want some great shoes to wear. Great company as well. Good customer service. This same Bruno Mark company also does the Nordivate, the Nordivate shoes. So if you were watching some of my hiking videos, backpacking videos, where I did some of those hiking boots and that kind of vibe, Basically, it's the same umbrella company. This is their like men's fashion shoe line. So the, this specific style or this style is the Giorgio 3, the brown, and then size 12, as you can see right there. Very classy, very stylish, right? Here's your 360 degree view, you know, as I kind of turn this around so you can kind of see what's going on there. Very well designed. You know, if you're looking for a inexpensive option where you still want a classy shoe that's comfortable, best bang for the buck as i always say by the way each shoe has its own shoe sleeve so when you go to put them away for storage or whatever kind of protects the shoe so they don't get dusty or dirty or that kind of vibe just saying there's the shoe itself they do come stuffed right so when you take out the stuffing inside here's basically what you're getting inside of the shoes that's the inside of the shoe very nice soft squishy you know, sole in there or the insole in there that's going to keep that padding in there that uh, 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 as you go tearing up the rug, you know, doing your dancing, tapping your shoes, doing whatever you're going to do. By the way, there's the bottoms. If you want to go ahead and see that, I do like the grippage, right? So that we're not sliding around all over the place. I do like this design pattern. Maybe you're going to wear these in the winter time. You're going to be out in some icy conditions or whatever. You know, I wouldn't recommend going ice skating with these, <laughs> but just saying at least you can see or get a sense of what the pattern's going to be like when you step out of that car, maybe at an event, you know, or whatever the case may be, you want to look there, your foot's going to come down out of the car, you know, just saying you want to look stylish, but at the same time, you've got a little bit of traction there. Maybe not the best for icy conditions, but just saying, you know, in case you do encounter some slippery floors or whatever, at least you got this going on. Yeah, kind of get an idea. They are a squared off toe, which is great. Love the style. You know, there's the actual toe itself. There's the stitching. Always good quality, at least as far as I'm concerned. Look at that double stitching right there. Seamless. Very easy to maintain these, by the way, too. You know, just sometimes even just like a damp or a moist towel, just wipe it over. You, kind of, you can kind of clean them up. And then if you want to go through the whole process of like shining your shoes and polishing them and doing that whole spiel, you can do that too. I do like the buckle. The buckle's really nice. You know, a nice little accent piece right there. Just something different. A little stylish. Just to show you all what they look like. There's the there's the frontal view, right? And let's, let's continue with our 360 wraparound if I can do that. Let's see if we can get that all in there on camera. There's your side view right there. How nice is that? There's the back view so you can see... You know, when someone's looking at you from, you know, a girl might be admiring you from across the room. Just saying, you know, she wants to know where your shoe. That's the first thing women notice, by the way, is your shoes. Most important thing, how a man dresses is one of the first things that women notice. Always, always. Because if you, if you look the part, then they know that you're going to treat. They know that you are going to treat them with respect if you're wearing respectable clothing especially the footwear, just saying. There's the heel. So you can kind of get a sense of what's going on there. And as mentioned before, you do have a lot of nice padding in there, a nice squishy insole. So anyways, that's this part. Here's the card that comes with the shoes. And it's just kind of showing you what the different sizes are. So let's just go to the US ones just so you can kind of see. Basically from size five all the way up to like size 12 shoes. And then depending on, you know, there's there's women's, there's the men's. Men's is size 6 to size 15. I mean, if you're wearing a size 15 shoe and you want to look classy, I'm just saying, and you want like an inexpensive option that looks great, best bang for the buck, there you go. There's your option right there. There's kids, which I'm going to show you in a second, 4T, 5T, 6T, all the way up to, you know, as you can see there, size 7 through 13 and then 1, 2, 1 through 6 or whatever that is. 
And then there's women's. Again, there's your European sizes. There's your men's. There's your kids. You kind of get a sense of what's going on there. Let's look quickly at the kids' shoes. I happened to get these, I think, by accident. But I'm going to do a review on them anyway. So here's this particular style. There's size... 12, which I'm assuming is the child size 12. There's the style. There's the serial number. Comes in a little box. If you're a father, son duo, boom, there you go. Here's your shoes. Same thing. You still get the same, you know, comfy uh, shoe socks or whatever these things are called that kind of wrap up the shoe just to protect them. But look at how cute those little shoes are. Moms, I know you're watching this video. <laughs> I know that you're watching a video trying to, you know, figure out what kind of shoes to get for your son. Maybe your son has a quinceanera that he's going to go to, right? He's a guest of like the quinceanera girl to be or baptism or a wedding or a birthday party or some private event, bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah. You, know, you kind of get this. You kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to get at here. But why not have your kids looking as cute? Look at look at that size comparison there. Why not have your child look as awesome and amazing as the father does? You know, just saying you can get matching shoes. You know, that's an option too. But if think about it, your kids are going to be running around playground, right? Or maybe not a playground, but just running around. You know, maybe the boys are chasing after the girls. Maybe the girls are chasing after the boys. Just saying. You know, that happened to me when I was a child. Just that the girls were always chasing after me. I don't know. I was <laughs> I was one of those. I was one of those cute kids. But anyways, there's the boys' shoes, right? This is obviously the brown. There's the style number. You kind of get a sense of what's going on there. I will put links down below in the description section to a plethora of options to choose from. Colors, styles, everything that kind of Bruno Mark has and more. But again, look at the quality of the shoe. Look at that double stitching right there. Look at how nice these are made and designed. Like I said, an inexpensive option, high quality, low price, best bang for the buck. Why not have your little boy, son, you know, nephew, whatever the case may be, have some comfort. And also, too, you get that same squishy insole right there. Lots of padding. I would say there's at least a quarter of an inch, if not more, of padding in there that I can just feel as I press down on these shoes just to show you that there's comfort. There's comfort when your child is wearing their shoes. So anyways, with that being said, the adult version, the child version, hopefully you gain some knowledge from this video. I will put links down below in the comment section, also in the description section, so you kind of get a sense of what's going on. I will also put these on my Amazon storefront, so check those out, those links out as well. I'm the Old Coot, and I'll catch you on the next exciting Old Coot product review.